And we're moving on to someone who's no stranger to a red carpet and or picking up a prize and who's having another big year with plenty on the go. In fact, two of her projects have just premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. And that's where we caught up with Nicole Kidman. Her two latest films couldn't be more different. One's a crime thriller, the other a coming-of-age drama. It's nice. It's, I mean, I'm in a position where I'm able to have these great roles, be they big or small, but there's, you know, opportunities that are really exciting and fun. Boy Arrays tells the story of the son of a Baptist well. pastor who's outed at the age of 19 with a harrowing response from his family. We cannot see a way that you can live under this roof if you're going to fundamentally go against the grain of our beliefs. It's written and directed by fellow Aussie Joel Edgerton. And I wanted to work with him and he just called me up and said there's this role, would you be interested? And we talked on the phone and we talked about it and I was like, absolutely. And I just loved how he can write and direct and act. I mean, he's got it all. I've met him in passing at, you know, Golden Globe Awards and different premieres. And a lot of times it's just high, high. So I knew of him, but I didn't know him um, in a sort of a personal way. And I'd obviously seen his work and so many people have so many good things to say about him. So now I get to say them too. It also stars Troy Sivan and Russell Crowe. We're all a group where we know each other and we know each other's work and we've grown up. And, um, and so I think there's just a, you know, a sense of camaraderie between all of us anyway. We are not finished. I am because you won't listen. In fact, it's actually the first time Rusty and Nick have worked together. They play a married couple. And Russell's one of the great, great actors of all time. But because we've known each other for so long, I think we're very easy with each other, the way we touch, the way we talk, the way we communicate, and that's um, worth so much when you're creating a marriage in such a short period of time, which is we didn't have a lot of rehearsal on this film. So you bring all of that, which is your history, to get to the performances. Nick's other new movie, Destroyer, has a female director, and she's placing more importance than ever on working with women. It's so important. I've kind of really tried to at this stage, when I have some sort of ability to get things made or to get things going, to go, let's get behind this woman, let's give her a chance. And that's part of my job right now is supporting female directors to help to start to balance it. And not just saying it, but doing it. Taking on the intense role of a traumatized detective took a big toll on me. Physically and emotionally, I had to kind of create a bubble which I could exist in so I could do the role. And that was, you know, over sort of a November, December, January period. And that's hard. It's hard on your family. It's hard on your psyche. It's hard, but that's what's required sometimes. Pete was like, when does this thing end? Please. <laughs> she tries not to take her work home with her but sometimes that's just not possible. I'm tired and I was ragged and I was walking a particular way. And I mean, one of my really close friends said, please, you're walking so strangely. And I'm thinking, my God, that's because Aaron walks this way. And so my body started to absorb it and behave in a way that I was not even aware of. I mean, it happened with Celeste on Big Little Lies. And that's why I then go and do something like Aquaman. <laughs> That's my kids coming to a premiere. Well, they'll come in the back way. As much as they would love to come down a red carpet, I'm like, no, we come in the back way. I'm still very protective. They say sometimes you've got to hurt a child in order to help them, but a mother knows when something isn't right. Yeah, Boy Erased. It uh, looks terrific. It's in cinemas on the 8th of November, and she's uh, telling it like it is. Nice to see you keeping the kids as much out of mm. the spotlight as is possible under those sort of circumstances. She's got a lot going on, hasn't she? They are, well, between her and yeah. Keith, you know, yeah. doing schedule. big little eyes and this and that and a couple of movies here Need and these. schedule to drop the schedule. Oh, That's right. Very busy, very yeah. successful. We love her. She's fabulous. Great, Great star. Yeah. Thank you, Dickie.